What's up, y'all? Working on my brand new blog. Just kidding. So we're going to try some of these folk art dies. I think I'm pretty sure that they're for clothes regularly, but we're going to use them for not clothes. However, they're kind of thick and I saw a chunk. So we're going to strain them just to be sure that we're not going to have any issues. No sniffing paint. <clears throat> So, I'm completely in the dark about this pour. All I know for sure is it's going to be a pour. It's a beautiful night here in Dallas while he's getting that together. I'll show you the skyline. You can't see it because it's heavy. It's really heavy. Okay. So Dallas looks like tonight. Beautiful as usual. It's a nice crispy 65 degrees probably. New project. Cujo's in the house. Hey Mel. We're also using what is that? The black? Yeah. The black we're using because I can't find that Bombay ink is Molotow, which is an amazing spray paint that we can't find in I'm the States. Just the tip of a, just the tip of a um, popsicle stick about that. Um, what else? We're also using... Doc Martin's iridescent in the shade iridescent violet. Ooh. And we're gonna drop some of the gold body paint powder from Mayron into this as well. So that's our color palette. The resin that we're using is our current staple. Envirotex, light, we need be. He's measuring because measurement's super important with resin. I've gone over it before, but may as well go over it again. If you don't measure it properly and you have too much resin rather than hardener, then your piece will never set. If you have too much hardener, you're going to run into drying time issues. Our resin is one to one, so we just gotta make sure it's equal parts. When you're mixing, mix it thoroughly, scrape the sides, the bottom of the cup, and the stick so you don't have weak spots in your resin. I think that's that's all of it. Should have heated this up very Super thick. Yeah. I'm surprised since it was in the 70s today. I don't mean anything inside. That's true. Our loft is cement all the way around. Cement floors, walls are not cement. Ceiling cement. Front walls, cinder block. But it's good though for our like power bill. When you have colder temperatures, just drop your bottles of resin in some really warm to hot temperature water for like, water. I miss my mouth. For like 10 to 15 minutes. And that'll heat everything up and make everything more fluid. I don't know if I'm gonna use 
that. Well, just pull it out. See all those tiny bubbles? We'll get rid of those with a heat gun. Nope. Torch. We left our heat guns at the, the club where we're doing the marble and white and gold countertops. Which, by the way, look amazing. We have to do a top coat and then we'll do the video. Gorgeous color. It smells so bad. Like rotten bad or? Yeah, it just smells like. The thing is, it's not, um, it's not transparent like I thought it would be. Neither one of these are going to be like that. Are you going to do a puddle? Um, yeah. The last one. We like to put some resin down to you begin didn't, with. You didn't, um, what do you call it? We didn't tape the bottom. We didn't tape the bottom. We didn't prep this. You can feel it like dipping in the middle. <clears throat> So we like to put some clear resin over the canvas to begin with so that the resin flows more easily. I wouldn't do a big, like, all right. This is the first time in a while we haven't done one with white. You 
Colors look great on camera though. It's such like a modern look. That looks crazy. That looks so bananas. I hate it. The thing that should have. I don't know why I didn't prep it. I almost wish he had a black line out here somewhere. Like, I don't know, maybe following this purple and pink. I don't know. You don't have to. That looks awesome, too. all this fucking resin should have prepped it I want to do it again I need to prep it though well for right now it'll be a good video to post I wanted it deeper look at it moving is that me or is it 